Esters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, I'm Basil Chapman here at Tiger Technicians Hour, and uh, this is Thursday, October the 7th, and we're looking at a really strong move to the upside. Dow's up 500 points at 34,917. Just about to bump into this uh, right here, this Chapman wave. Here we go, let me just expand that. Uh, this is the inside track there you see that little green and red a uh, little narrow channel i call that the inside track is either a support level or it's a resistance level it's either a propellant or a repellent it's been a repellent now many times since the 35,631 all-time high of august the 16th when you think about you know over the last couple of days i've tried to spend a lot of time just i've looked at charts but i'm also trying to just step back and say wait a minute these are the negatives these are the positives and as i'm looking at it i'm saying well if these are the negatives why would the dow only go from the 35600s down to the 33600s to 2000 points in the space of months is august the 16th september the 16th we're almost at october the 16th and we're still under the all time high 7%, 8%, that's nothing given two months of consolidation. And yet, when you read the newspaper, when you listen to what's going on, there is just, I mean, you've got inflation, you've got yields skyrocketing, you've got the COVID variant, the Delta variant. You know, what happens with politicians is, in the beginning, they're very slow because they're waiting for everybody else. And then what happens is they pick up energy and then, it doesn't matter what the issue is, it's every issue. And then they start the legislation. And then when the horse is way out of the barn, the door's already, you could close the door and open the door. It doesn't matter, the horse is not coming back into the barn. They are busy legislating uh, very unrealistically, right? So it doesn't matter what it is. That's what we're looking at. Whether it's medical, whether it is economic, whether it is financial, it doesn't matter. So I try to put that aside. And all week we've been wanting to buy for my subscribers. We are still longer down a core position way back from the low of last year. Um, we've traded up and down and up and down. And we've bought the di diamonds every almost every day this week, not today, because yesterday we got it and we just, this time we got, we got made, we've made money on each one of the, the balances. We just got stopped out and I, I was going to flash uh, an email to uh, at least uh, an update to subscribers, but I generally don't do that. I, well, I usually give a warning. I say there could be an update and I, I just thought it's a little unfair for those people who are you know, expecting just one newsletter and uh, just an occasional update i should have done that because that was the move that really picked up strength we went in from under 340 on the diamonds and um here it is at 349 <laughs> nine points higher in this is based on from yesterday to today same time so um all i can say is hey that's fine because we have some positions that are really doing we in fact we have a stock uh, that we just bought in it's at an all time it's at an all time high as we speak so uh can't complain um i'm gonna say that we bought that today and it's done very very nicely days young but i love that i love everything about it or the sector it's in it's under the radar it's doing what it held while the market was pulling back it had all the ingredients and i thought i can't dive into the diamonds at this price probably should have but I, I just risk reward. I, I wanted this was look better to me, and of course the one we bought just a few days ago has gone from the 113s to the 119s in just a few days. So we're not complaining, and some of our other stocks uh, have held really well. So that's not the issue. The issue is let's go through them separately. Look at the S and P. 
the S&P now this is 500 stocks and it goes from 45.45 the high of the 2nd of September down to 42.78 so that's what five six percent that's not a bad deal and look at this the weekly chart making lower lows every single week has made lower lows and so far lower highs and yet it's held this trend line it went under it twice now uh, last week and this week and look, it's bounced back. It's now above the nine period moving average. And the nine is not even close to being below the 14 period moving average. And yet the news out there, if you dig deep, there are a lot of things. Oil, I mean, oil, oil prices are skyrocketing. Uh, for anyone who does a lot of traveling, you know that. Um, so and if you're talking about, OK, so we'll move to battery. Do you know what the prices are for, for, for cars? And I mean, prices have gone up. They're not giving discounts. I'll know today. In fact, I'll be involved in something today where I'm going to get a good feel for just where the 2022 automobiles, which many haven't started showing up in the showrooms yet, uh, just a bunch of things. And I think this is an important part of the criteria that we look at. We've got China. We've got just so many things going on and yet where else do people want to go they want to go to the stock market because it's become a thing it's become a thing for the younger crowd and that's really important and they won't give up on the thing that they're attached to until it blows up and there's no chance yet at least for them that i'm thinking at this point that it's going to blow up enough for them to say never touching this again for five years so i i look at the price and i say this is this is not bad action at all it's not great but it's not bad and look at the monthly chart i don't even know if october is going to be a peak b because there's a chance who knows what happens 45 45.86 starts an extension of leg b for october or even if it's november um, so what I'm saying is there are a lot of things can make you terribly nervous. But as Larry likes to say, do your homework. That's the best thing that you can do. Um, and if you do that, at least you are more in command of the market than it's in command of you. That's I mean, what more could you ask for? All right, let's go to the QQQ. Um, the QQQ, nice rally. It's up 1.52 percent. Dow's up 1.50 s and is 1.44 percent. Uh, so far, this is good action, but it's got to fill the gap. It's got to get into the 366s, 367s, and then it's got to try for this downtrend line by next week. Uh, let's see. <laughs> right there. And I know I, I, I occasionally get sense things like Elliott Wave, etc. And all I can say is, uh, I've got to get rid of that. We aren't short anything anymore. We were short and nice gain in the QQQs on the short side. Uh, we're, we're only along at this particular position looking for a chance that maybe we're going back to the short side within a day or two as the arch formation if it starts to appear. So the QQQs have a long way to go. 50 period exponential moving average at 366.50. It's about a point and a half from here. And then you get this whole series of inside track repellent zones. So I think the NDX 100 still has a lot of work to do. Can it do it sideways? Maybe this is the IAB, IWM before we wrap up this segment. A nice move up, up 1.72%, one of the better moves. Keep it 7.8, up 3.68. We'll be back. That was a chat for Titan Ignition's Hour. That was a 5.15, S&P sub-62. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go on with this. So IWM, as I said, uh, doing very nicely today, but it's still stuck in the range. I talk about stuck in the range. Look at gold. Gold is now uh, unchanged. It's at 1761.6. It's stuck in this range, but for... For the very first time, I'm looking at the GDX starting to show some sign of strength. It's up 21 cents at 30.57. I prefer to see the GDX rallying before gold. That's usually a sign that all of a sudden the area of the gold miners is showing signs of life. And when it does that, it means <clears throat> that it's back in play as a sector rather than as a specific commodity. That, to me, I prefer. So a question yesterday was on Newmont Mining. I said maybe nibble take, take a little nibble there. It's a, a little better today. It's at 40, It's up 42 cents at 54.95. It's actually breaking to the upside of the channel that has been in. It went under it. Now it's over it. The MACD is improving. The nine period moving average has a lot of work to do before it crosses positive. And that matches the stochastic only at 31 percent. On balance is not that great. But it is improving. So that's the one that we were asked about. And I said, yep, um, looking out timing wise, it's hard to say. But if if the GDX starts to rally now rather than just gold, that would be a good sign. So this is a good sign right now. I had a question in the den. Would I look at HL? HL is uh, sorry, this is in Tiger. This is in Tiger YouTube. Uh, yes, HL is trading at five dollars and fifty cents, up ten cents. It's a little bit like Newmont Mining in that it's really sluggish to get out of its down mode. Uh, five fifty one. Yeah, this is what I would recommend because the GDX is starting to rally a little bit. Days young, anything can happen. I'm just going to suggest that five fifty one. You didn't say what you want to do with it, but I'm thinking you are looking to either you're in it or you're looking to buy it. Yes, start your position, start your engines right here at five fifty one. But I would only treat it as a small starter position, and I would add to it if it shows every day, if it shows a little bit more strength, and then I would treat your uh, the stop on the 551 position if you got in now. I would have to give it a little room. This is your starter position. So 538 at the moment, I'd say 538. It's a bigger percentage than I would normally do, but this is 
because the doji candle in the weekly chart is saying this is the third doji that we've got and it's not even friday yet so i don't know but it's saying that it's trying to form some kind of a base to at least bounce so that's uh, oh now it's at 5:53. Somebody's been listening. Yeah. So get your, start your position now. Another question I had. Wow. What was that? Oh yes. So that, uh, you remember we were looking at the the ones I said. I think NG people think is natural gas, but it's actually Nova Gold. This is one that we usually buy when we're going into the gold area. And I'm thinking speculation. Let's just see for a percentage gain. Missed completely. Even though I looked at it almost every day. This is a single leg A from the move that it had on the 28th of September of 648. It's trading at 754. It's over a dollar higher than the low in a single move to the upside. So I do expect it will have a bit of a pullback. But look at the weekly chart for the first time. So, this is unbelievable. Since it broke down, um, this is the eight, week of the 18th of June, back in the nine, uh, nine, yeah, 950 area, and it plunged down to that in the, in the low six in mid sixes. Now it's the first time it's above the 14 period moving average in the weekly chart, let alone the nine, which it couldn't touch. This time it not only broke it, but so far the week is young. There's still a whole day and a half to go, but so far that's good. So I suspect that there is some play going on in the um, in the gold area. Yes, yeah, so I'm answering questions, uh, and I do I do think this is something to uh, be aware of. I, I, I thought it was just that people thought NG was natural gas. NG, no, natural. Look at look at natural gas. Peak F top yesterday. No, I shouldn't say top. I think it's going to be a, be a peak F top and a pullback coming up just with crude oil. Look at crude oil. Mm. Crude oil also an F top. If it breaks to a new high, I have to consider that it's a, a, a G stash C and it's going to be going even higher. But so far, I think. I've been saying for the, for the past few days, I think crude oil is just about to have a digestive phase, small one in the daily, the weekly, I can't talk about it all, but in the daily, but it is a leg D in the monthly chart. So we're going to be watching that closely. Um, I also said I look at silver, silver is trading <clears throat> slightly higher high, so it's in leg B, gray leg B at 22.73, up 19 cents. Yeah, I like this, but um, I, I would say just Pattern. Let me see. PAAS. This is past Pan American Silver. Yep. Second day of green candle. Uh, this is still got a lot of work to do. So treat it as a bounce. I treat them all just as a bounce because if as long as the dollar is showing strength, that is going to take precedence right now. Dollar's down three ticks at 94.18 after making a peak E high just about a week ago at 94.50 ish. And it's trading at 94.19, holding very nicely in the upper band. If you look at the EUR, UST, wow, I'm covering a, a, a lot here. U, EUR it tried to rally um, and failed and went to a lower low yesterday, leg after the downside. There's nothing technically that I can see that says it's going to have anything more than anything like a bounce. The weekly chart has gone to the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. If this fails, that's going to be very bad at 1.156. Up zero zero zero. I hate these zeros. Six. It's just uh, it's really struggling. And look at the monthly chart. M monthly chart says the struggle should continue. USD JPY. Uh, JPY. There it is. Uh, trading. It, it looks like the dollar because it trades in the direction, not the same pattern necessarily, but in the direction of the dollar. And that's what it's doing right now. Dollar made its high just about over a week ago. This went to just over 112. Pulls back to 110. Bounces to the 111s and now it's at 111.46 sideways action. Um, I wanted to look at high grade copper, high grade copper. There it is, high grade copper is in the lower range, not breaking out, not breaking down. It's just kind of stuck sideways. I wanted to also look at Baba. Uh, someone in the den, it was an Earl, someone said something about um, um, Alibaba Group that was it, uh, uh, um, was that Earl that said that? Um, uh, let's see, Warren Buffett is going, uh, or was it Warren? Uh, that said, anyway, that Buffett has been buying. I think they said something like that. Now you can see what a big move up 8%, up, but it's only up $12 at 156. It's gone from the 300s down to the 137, 38, 138.44. 138 level four days ago. 100, this is a really nice move. 
50 points, fabulous move. But this, this is what I've been saying, that I think that in the, the Chinese stocks, if they don't take out the lows, and FXI just made a little double bottom yesterday, didn't take out the left side low, and now it's bounced up 3.92% at 39.50. I treat this as a bounce. It could be have a little bit more legs to the upside. Treat it as a bounce. If you're looking at Baidu, was the other one that we always look at here you know, when I get questions on it. This is the one that's held better. It's holding better. So Baidu up seven, not as uh, at, at 156.48. It held beautifully this channel line that I had drawn in. Look at that. Jeff, we've inside track propellant zone and it's going towards the upper level. In fact, it's a tad high. This is a better looking chart than the others. I do. I'll be back in a moment. That's a 550 S&P 63. That's a chapter. Tag ignitions out. Oh, got a lot to talk about. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. I just I can't remember where I was because there were so many things going on during the break. But uh, one, one, one statement was NVIDIA, the most hyped stock from uh, that, that this person's uh, heard of. Yep, I agree about NVIDIA, but I do also believe that NVIDIA has... A really good product lineup. They they are the ones that have really produced the goods. At this point, I I'm putting to, together with a, a couple of questions that came my way about the SMHs. So Nvidia is up five dollars at two twelve, up two point four three percent. The SMHs, the semiconductors, up two point sixteen percent to two fifty nine. I think both of them are in this digestive phase. I don't think they're going anywhere. But don't, believe me. 
when the market starts to come back again, those semis, the semiconductors, they have to be in the, the those chips are absolutely imperative. That's the commodity. We used to have fuel as the commodity that generated decades and decades and decades of, of, of uh, growth around the world. Microchips over the past decades have done the same thing into the 20th and then the 21st century, now in the 21st century, and that's going to continue. That's our energy source for the economy. So yes, I, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't have a, a mindset that says, oh, I, I, hyped, it's the end of the world, this is a, a hoax. These are real companies and they're doing real things and they are, a lot of them are actually stuck right now because they don't quite know what to do. They, they were late in making fabs, etc. So I, I just don't get carried away. Just look at the chart. Chart says the semis, uh, 276 down to 246, 30 points. So what is that? It's big deal. It's about 12, 13%. Some of the semiconductor stocks took a d deeper hit. Some didn't. But don't get carried away. So the next question I had was, hi, ba let's see, uh, radio question. Um, hi, Basil. I hope uh, you're well, and thanks for your great market calls. As of late, you've been spot on. Will it be possible to take a look at SDC, SDC Smile Direct Club as a long-term hold? It looks like it might be bottoming. Thank you very much, Basil. Chris. Um, so, Chris, this is what I'd be looking at. and I, I, I have a problem, and the problem is I did not know that I happened to know someone who's uh, directly involved with this company, uh, SMCS, let me get to it, SDC, SDC. I have absolutely, I never talked to them about the company. I know nothing about it. So I'm just mentioning this as kind of a clarification of a situation here that I've seen this go by in the ticker for years. And I've always thought, gosh, this really moves quickly. It's such a low price thing. I, it used to be in the teens, but then mostly it's been in the single digits. And it has these big percentage moves up and down. And then I saw this thing about the lawsuit, a huge lawsuit. I don't know where it stands. I have no idea. All I'm going to say is I saw this go by in the ticket two days ago. Um, in the, in the, I knew it was in the fives, and suddenly it's trading in the, in the 580 area. And then yesterday it had a big move up, and today it's, it's pulling back 34 cents. So let me just do two things, because now I have to say, look at the chart. Forget about everything you heard. You don't even know anything other than that you know someone who is directly involved with the company. Um, and, and this is by a friend's, because it's a friend's daughter, so I, I'm just telling you where I stand, that I've heard these things. I never, ever mentioned it when I spoke to, to the daughter at, uh, one or two times I've seen her over the last year. Um, doesn't live anywhere near here. Um, and I, I've never mentioned, never discussed it, never discussed anything about the company. But I just wanted to mention that your, your mindset and the chart are sometimes two separate things. Now, from what they do, I've always thought, gee, that's kind of, that's kind of impressive what they do. I, and I'm not talking about the business side. I'm just talking about the product. But I am saying that it's just kind of stuck. I would prefer to say to you, rather build a position on strength than build it on weakness. So because it's popped up like this, I, you haven't said anything about whether you have a position already. I'm just going to take a wild guess that at some point, because this is something you've followed for a long time and you say you want a, a kind of a more intermediate to long term position, that you followed it enough to say this is something you're very interested in. Here's the way I would, and I'm going to say initially, here's the way I would play it, because I don't think I can moves like this. Going from five dollars, uh, what was it? What was the low? Just, I mean, just look at the low. The low comes in round about four dollars and sixty-three cents. It made double bottoms round about. Let's call it late August, right? August the twenty-third was the last one, and then it takes off, and in a week, three, four, five, maybe a week, uh, 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 maybe six sessions. Six sessions over over five sessions, but let's call it a six sessions because it might be a weekend. It actually goes to $6.23. It, it has a 
Let's be modest about it. Let's call it an 18% gain. Wait a minute. It then pulls back sharply, makes an arch formation, holds the left side low, and then it goes from 512, pow, it zaps all the way to 742. Another big move. And then what happens? Before you can blink an eye, over a two and a half week or even three week period, you're looking at this back down at $5.00 and two cents but wait a minute as you were blinking your eye and rubbing your eye remember this is like my this is my like my rogue rogue wave when at 12 uh, the high tide at noon and at 12 or 6 you get this rogue wave that wets everybody but then the tide continues going out and uh, this is the same thing Boop, you open your eyes and the next thing you know it's at today's high of 620 uh, of 683 and now it's had a little bit of a pullback from 683 down to 640, that's 40 cents, that's an 8%, that's a big move. So you gotta consider that this thing is really volatile, but it is stuck in a range. If it was making higher highs and higher lows and then following through on a weekly basis rather than a weekly basis making lower highs and lower lows, I'd say I have no, I have no qualms saying to you, start your position here at 641 and don't put a stop unless you're prepared to have a stop at 580. Just give it a day or so. I can't do that. There's no way I can do that. So I'm going to say to you, why don't you nibble here, Chris, 541. I, all I can say is when it stops making lower highs and lower lows and does a higher highs and higher lows, I'm going to say to you, I like the action. It needs to break this long-term downtrend line. If you listen to Larry, he talks about the symmetry. I always do this. I used to have a cup-shaped formation. They made symmetry, symmetry. This is the first time there's a chance for the MACD crossing positive in the weekly chart. The histograms just turned up. It's 0.07. The, the stochastics finally got out of the, the single digits it's, and the teens, and it's gone to 26%. So all I can say is, you do your homework on the fundamental side. I'm doing my homework on the technical side. And I'm saying to you, just start your position. I would like, I would prefer you to start your position. And you might have to miss once, twice, maybe even three times. Because then when you pick it up correctly, it's really going to move to the upside. So this position at 642 is just a star, little, small, tiny position. And on this position, I'd still have a stop. The stop would be at about... 670. That's that's five percent, a little more than I'd like. Let's do that, and on Monday we'll look at it again. Tomorrow, tomorrow maybe, but Monday we'll look at it again. Start a position. I can't do long term until the set until the seven twenties is it. I'll be back in a moment. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So a couple of things going on here. Uh, I forgot about this. When I was looking at the, um, yeah, just on a very short term, just a quick question because I'm looking at the one more chart. We made a peak F top in the one minute chart and e slash b in the um, two minute chart uh, all i can say is that uh, this is about the area we would start to see some resistance but you'd have to see a pullback by this afternoon in the s p uh, uh, the e-mini 6250 right now uh it's 440 4416.50 uh, this is a huge move. I would, I tend to try not to mess around trying to pick tops when a market when the S and P is actually up over 52 points. Uh, somehow or other, they can keep it in place sideways for a little while longer. Later on, at about 3:10, if you all start to see a slide and the S and P is below 4,400, then I say, yep, we might see selling to the close because there's some bad news or something coming out. But right now, you've got to be careful. If this goes to 4425, the high today is 4421.50. If it goes that high, that's <laughs> there's just something really good going on and it could last into tomorrow. We'll see. I'm anticipating within two days or so by Monday, coming up this, this Monday, you can start to see some kind of a pullback. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm looking at the H pattern. So that's all I can tell you there. Uh, so what I want you to say is Marvell. Um, and I have oh, here again, I'm always I'm always surprised at how many people I actually know in businesses or, or, or peripherally I know um, when in fact uh, I don't have any contact with them whatsoever. Just know of you know, like the like the uh, what was it the SDC. And as I said, oh, and this person, I shouldn't say, has nothing to do with the actual company of the manufacturing, anything. It has to do something peripheral to the company. <laughs> so, and here it is, Marvell. I used to actually teach the son of someone who worked at Marvell. I'm not even sure if they're still there. Um, trading at 66.63. This is Marvell, not Marvell. This is not Marvel, but Marvell Technology Semiconductors. Spectacular move in two days, going from the 59s to 66, 62 right now. You see, this is the whole thing. And I've got to emphasize that in the semiconductor, the way the rotation goes through advanced, I don't want to do it today, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, advanced micro devices going from the single digits to triple digits every couple of years, it has a spectacular move and then it gives it all up. Um, they rotate, Taiwan Semiconductor, same thing, it just goes on and on and on. So um, this is one that's absolutely in the sweet spot right now. It's in leg D in the monthly chart, leg F, but this F could turn out to be B, in, no, it couldn't turn out to be, oh, maybe, um, I don't think so. In the weekly chart, and I don't know if this is a single leg, hey, this is one of the most unusual chart patterns I've ever seen. I, I'm just giving it a, maybe it's an A, uh, maybe it's an F or a G in the data. I don't know what the data is. It looks, I, it to be purely objective, this looks like an A. And then it could pull back and make nominal B and a C and a D, but it does look like an A. Marvell technique, it's in the semiconductor area where there are chip shortages. They've done something that says, ha, 
chip shortages, not us, because look at the chart. All time high, not just a, a monthly or all time, and not just a, a, a brief moment. This is an all time high. So let's get out of that. So Mars, the question came in. What about Mosaic? The Mosaic company, I liked it the other day. Remember, I like it again here. It's at 39.64, up a dollar 24, 3.34% in leg C in the daily. I like this. This is an area of, of, of favorability. I thought about jumping in today, but I didn't want to buy the gap up. I wanted to buy what we bought. Just it turns out to be a gap up, but we got it uh, with uh, no, it's not a gap up, the one anymore. but we got it just right. It's a different sector. I just I'm trying to be sector oriented. This is a sector that's on fire right now. Mosaic core, phosphate and potash. I like it. So, yes, you asked about it. Uh, nice move. Yes. All right. A real quick question in the den about Nike. Uh, there is Nike. Yeah, coming off the bottom. This is a leg B, um, and it's just a counter trend bounce. I just don't think it's ready yet. I do think it'll go to leg D in the monthly chart to an all time high. I think it needs a lot more time. Maybe it's getting closer to Christmas. Hey, I don't know about the shortages uh, and, and the container ships, et cetera, but all I can say is it's a great move of a very oversold condition. It's just releasing some of that angst on the upside. So that's the way I'm looking at it right now. <clears throat> yep, Ford Motor Company. I've been wondering what on earth is going on. He had made a peak E top. Look at this big move today, up five and a half percent at fourteen point eighty seven, up seventy six cents. Wow, this is a nice move. So that's the reason when I was looking at all these things, I said to myself, why would General Motors? I don't care what they say. Look at the same thing as Ford. Big move today. They can say that in by twenty thirty. They'll be over oh, 35. They'll only be electric. I, I always say, you remember that it was when I started the show back in 20, uh, 2003. I think that was my first, February or March was my first monthly newsletter opening call. Um, very soon after that, um, I discussed. Uh, was it, isn't that very soon after that the Prius came and, and people said, oh, that's the end of, 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 of automobiles. And I said, no, if you look at the history of innovation, it takes 40 or 50 years to build an infrastructure until that becomes the norm. And I said, forget it. It takes a long time. Do you know that the percentage of electric vehicles on the road is just in, the, I think it's in the single digits. It's very small. We will not see that for decades where um, uh, gas engines are, are just outmoded, um, it's going to take a long, long time. And not only that, people have to be able to afford it. And these EVs, they have to come down. And I was saying before, the prices are jumping, especially for either the um, hybrid or the electric vehicles. Prices are soaring. So whatever you think you're saving on gas, huh, you're overpaying for the car at this particular point. Unless you're finding one that's not in favor, but then that might not be the ideal car. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, yeah, and government subsidies. Don't forget, when those things stop, that changes the whole atmosphere. So whatever they're talking about now, if you look, talking about decades, you know, fascinating. I've been reading a lot about the skyscrapers, especially the building. I saw this uh, show last night on National Public TV, whatever it is, um, NPR. The... Um, uh, the building of this skinny uh, skyscraper in, in Manhattan. What a project. I mean, when I always say, man, well, it's a human beings ingenuity is just so unbelievable. Go to the moon. I mean, anything that has to do with numbers, we are fantastic. Anything that has to do with human nature, not exactly, right? I mean, when you think of what, what you read about, about um, the, 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 the just the absolute viciousness on online, whatever it is, whether it is uh, uh, Facebook or whatever, uh, human nature has a way of showing itself. But when we come to anything scientific, we are amazing. Anything to do with them is just like the Bible. They got all this thing about cubits. They were perfect with cubits. But so-and-so came down and said so-and-so. I can't even believe someone when you see it repeated on TV today. A thousand times you get different opinions. 
Mm, I have to get off there. Jazz at 541. We'll be back in a moment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Anyway, we're talking about pencil towers, the skinny, and they, I don't know what they call them. They call them tall something or other instead of using the word skyscraper but uh anyway so i've been following this very closely because remember i got my skyscraper theory i still believe that that's an, a valid and intact particular technique but we don't have to use it right now so look at this the xlf mm, is spiraling up it's at a new recovery high in leg d in the uh, monthly chart finally a leg d could be a uh, very interesting how this closes in uh uh, October, but that's because why I didn't get to it. Why? Why did I not get to it? I get to it right now. That's because we've been talking about this. The TLT is at a lower low. Rates are going higher. I mean, if you talk about inflation, everything is there to say at least for three to six months we should have an inflationary period, and yet. Um, <laughs> The market is ignoring it because it's looking at other things. You've got the debt ceiling that just uh, evidently is some, there's kind of potential resolution there. I don't know what it is. But whatever we're looking at, you've got to consider that higher rates are going to affect some areas. And HGX, this is the, uh, HGX is having a good move today. So when things get oversold, this is the Philadelphia Housing Safety Index. Great move. It's up 2%, up 958 to 454.66. So remember, keep in mind, you've got to think of these things separately. Look at the charts and do, as Larry says, do your homework. 
So, as I'm going to wrap up here, because uh, we've got um, Larry Pizzamento coming up, we've got Think or Swim, then we've got uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. So far, a very strong day. So far, holding. All I can say is this. If the Dow, which is uh, up, testing this resistance, has, it has to go through to 35,000, probably easy area or high on the closing basis to say, I'm done with this trend line. We support now. It won't be resistance. And the VIX index, the VIX volatility index is trading down. Sharp is down under 20 at 